A Corexit is one of a number of dispersants uh, that are toxic that are used to atomize uh, the oil uh, and force it down the water column uh, so that it's invisible to the eye. Uh, in this case, these dispersants were used in massive quantities, almost 2 million gallons so far, uh, to hide the magnitude of the spill and save BP money. Uh, and the government, both EPA, NOAA, etc., have been sock puppets for BP in this cover-up. Now, by hiding the uh, amount of spill, uh, BP is saving hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars in fines. And so from day one, there was tremendous economic incentive to use these dispersants to, to hide uh, the magnitude of the uh, gusher that's been going on for almost three months. Uh, Congressman uh, Markey and Nadler, as well as Senator Mikulski, have been heroes in this respect. Uh, Congressman Markey made uh, the uh, uh, BP and government put a camera down there to show the public the gusher. And when they did that, experts saw that the amount of, of uh, material, oil, being released is orders of magnitudes greater than what BP and NOAA and EPA were saying. And the cover up started to evaporate. But the use of dispersants has not. Consequently, we have people, wildlife, we have dolphins that are hemorrhaging, uh, people who work near it uh, are hemorrhaging uh, internally, and that's what dispersants are supposed to do. EPA now is taking the position that they really don't know how dangerous it is, even though if you read the label, it tells you how dangerous it is. And, uh, for example, in the Exxon Valdez case, people who work with dispersants, uh, most of them are dead now. The average death age is around 50. Uh, it's very dangerous, and it's an economic, it's an economic uh, protector of BP, not an environmental protector uh, of, of the public. EPA has all the information on what uh, in, uh, the ingredients are. The largest ingredient in Corexit is oil, uh, but there are other materials. And when the, the ingredients are mixed with, uh, uh, with oil, uh, the combination of uh, uh, Corexit or any, uh, but EPA has all that information. That's a red herring issue being raised that we have to somehow know more information. When you look at the label, and you look at the uh, toxicity sheets that come with it, the public knows enough to know that it's very dangerous. Uh, the National Academy of Science has done work on it. Toxicologists from Exxon that developed it have published on it. So we know enough to know that it's very dangerous. And to, uh, to say that we just have to know more about it is a red herring issue. We know plenty. It's very dangerous. Uh, and, in fact, uh, Congressman Nadler uh, and um, Senator Lautenberg are working on legislation uh, to ban it.